are continuing with the same topic. We are going to move on to our Venus line. It's pretty much the same thing. Whatever you did on your arterial side, you will have to do it on your Venus side. So we have a, um, a Venus chamber goes to the Venus slot right here. So the red is arterial, blue is your Venus. So open that door. What that is, is just a simple push and pull out. Push, push, and pull down. So this way is most of the time we twist and turn. Twist, press and twist. And then push it, push it, go back in. And same thing with with the arterial side. On this chamber, you have two of these slides right here. So you always want to clamp this. Make sure this is tight. You always want to clamp this. Make sure this is tight. And after that, the same thing that we did on the arterial side. We want to drain a certain amount on our patient end and we want to hook this up to the dialyzer. So either way, you can do this one first. Just put it in a bucket. And you want to put this right on your patient. I mean, your dialyzer. Make sure it's snug. And you want to put it on Venus up. So this, we had it on our trail up. Now we want to switch or flip our dialyzer to Venus up. Now we want to prime our Venus line for about an amount of 200. So in order to prime our Venus line, we have to use a pump. So we our arterial line, we use gravity, but with our Venus line, we cannot use gravity, so we have to use a pump. So we will drop this down to at least 200, it just depends on what your company policy. So we wanna press that right there. But my pump's still not running, so with that being said, you wanna press your prime button. And that will, prime your venous patient in. So this process takes a couple of minutes. All that right there is air bubbles. So you don't want that in your dialyzer or in your life. So with this right here, with all the air bubbles, what you can do is to get rid of it is prime it at low speed. Make sure you wanna just tap, give it a little tap. that is going to it to the dialyzer to the chamber to the bucket that is draining so we want to prime this twice just to make sure we get rid of the air bubbles and the chemicals from the manufacturer see that right now we, this is our first prime and we'll just wait for this pump to stop for a prime button to stop while we wait, we want to just keep on tapping just to make sure there is no air bubble. Always want to keep an eye on your bag. You don't want to run out while you're priming. So right now it stops. So our first prime is done. Now we got to prime it twice. So you just want to press prime and you don't even want to touch this because once you stop, all you need to do is press prime. So this is the second prime. The same thing, we just want to make sure there's no air in our lines or in your dialyzer. We're just waiting for this to stop to finish our second prime. So that normally would total of about 300 with the arterial uh, draining. So right now, as you notice, our conductivity is still on 10. So I think one of this is, is not working right. So 